Hey guys, so this is a walkthrough video of the MRI scanning. So a few days ago, Monday, I just uh, went for my MRI uh, safety scanning. Yeah, uh, the T2 star. So uh, in, tele in Singapore, like, uh, most thalassemia patients are having transfusion that will be required and uh, advised to go for uh, MRI scannings once a year. Yep, to truly identify any iron overload in the major organ, the heart, in the liver, and the spleen uh, area like that. So uh, the doctor will uh, prescribe them the form to go for the MRI uh, once a year. Yeah, and uh, uh, after the next visit, uh, after the MRI, uh, the doctor will check the result and see how it's going and advise advise you what you can do. To uh, to improve your chelators or wh whatever, you did. Uh, maybe increase your chelator dose or things like that. So I'll take you, I'll, I'll briefly like talk 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 about uh, the procedure of the MRI scanning at, as at least for my experience. So, yeah, let's go straight into it. So, uh, so uh, on the day itself when you're going for the MRI. Scanning, you bring along the form, which is uh, which the doctor give you. Uh, you should uh, briefly the doctor will take for you is like ask you whether you have any surgery, yeah, you have any um, metal part in your body because some people do have like uh, uh, injured, so they put like metal in their body. They will ask you whether you uh, you have any earring things like that. So basically for me like oh no then uh maybe you need to sign the form then you bring the form on the uh to the reception the mi clinic or department on the day itself and also if you are paying by your health enrollment fund like me i must bring my memo along that, uh, just to show at the end of the uh, mri when i'm uh paying for the bill itself at the counter so basically, you just bring the form if you are not paying, uh, if you are not subsidized uh, the MRI form, and uh, you reach a, a place like half an hour early before your uh, actual MRI scanning start. Let's say uh, Monday, I uh, start on eight a.m. Then I must reach there on set around seven thirty p.m. Yeah, just to uh, wait for your turn and you need to change. So after you. Uh, after you uh, register the counter, they ask you to wait a while and uh, take you through the procedure. They will uh, ask you to chain first. Uh, they give you a locker key. Yeah, they just take a locker key from the uh, locker. Sometimes they put the keys in the locker itself already. So you just uh, put your thing inside and lock it. Uh, then you chain your uh, chain into the hospital room for the MI. Uh, G O W N the uh, the attire or outfit for the uh, MRI scanning, and for male they only wear uh, underpants uh, in it. You can't wear your shirt on on or the jeans. Just wear your underpants in it. For female, not very sure. Maybe bra and uh, underpants. So uh, then uh, after you change the the old your shirt and uh, whichever you wear and your shoe. A shoe can wear into the room itself. Your shirt and the pants, uh, and the uh, all the metal thing, uh, should be put inside the the locker. So watch, uh, watch things like that. All your glasses you are wearing, you also can put inside just in case. And uh, if you are wearing a ring or anything, uh, uh earring, all put inside. All metal thing need to be removed as as is. Uh, is indicated in the form itself. Uh, you could have any metal thing in your body, so just put on the, uh, uh, in the locker then you lock it and then keep you keep the key with you. Meantime, and after that, the staff nurse will call your turn to go into a room. Then uh, they will keep the key for you in the cupboard. Then uh, the doctor will like uh, tell you the procedure or later how it goes under that. So it mostly brief you on through. If you are more than first time, you already know how it goes. Yeah. So later they will ask you lie down in a position, and then uh, I put like a shelf. Yeah, I think it's the camera. I think to monitor the 
uh, that capture image and things like that. So uh, the nurse and doctor might uh, as you lie down and put on, on your chest. I, it's uh, difficult, like uh, something pressing against the chest a little. And they give you like a palm to indicate if any emergency, you can just uh, press it and just a signal with them and they will not n notice is anything wrong with you, you feel pain or anything, just press the kind of like sponge uh, ball, yeah, sponge indicator, then the uh, outside will be, uh, they, they will know from outside. So, uh, mm, then uh, they will give you the headphones and make sure everything is fine and uh, I think they put the uh, ECGs too to monitor your heart rate and things like that. Uh, uh, the computer uh, measure your ECG or things like that. They put a sticker on you, a few. <coughs> yeah, sorry about that. And uh, <coughs> then uh, after that, uh, they make sure everything is fine. Then uh, they will put, put some like covering on the, on your chest and maybe cover your leg with towel. Uh, uh, with uh, towel, you call that. Uh, blankets or things like just in case they are cold your leg so after that they will move the machine to the MRI system and after that the headphone uh, they give you uh, where the doctor will talk to you stop breathing and breathing and in the meantime there might be some music playing uh, if the doctor is not uh, talking the music will appear it's just a kind of like smoothing music for you to relax a relaxation music you can call it so uh, the doctor, what basically he will say is, uh, okay, he will speak to you on the, I think outside there's speaker, so they say, uh, okay, later you will, uh, uh, I say stop breathing, then you stop breathing. So yeah, they say breathe in, they will ask you, uh, during the procedure, they will ask you, uh, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, okay, stop breathing, then you hold your breath like uh, 10 seconds, the longest, I think, 20 seconds. Yep, so, uh, they need like few seconds, then after that, I think longer time, and the most like 20 seconds or so. Then a few times on and off, then you can start breathing. After the after you hold for 10 seconds, you can stop breathing again. Okay. Then again, uh, a, a few times, like the, the same procedure, like um, five, six times or, around, uh, or the most seven to eight times. Yeah, I think the whole procedure is less than 10 times. For my case, yeah. So the whole procedure take about half an hour to forty five minutes. Yeah. For me, I think I take about uh, I used to it. Really so finish the procedure quite fast. I take about twenty five to thirty minutes to finish the the whole uh, MRI scanning procedure. Then uh, after it's finished, they will pull you out uh, from the MRI machine. It will automatically come. Uh, then they will take out all the, sh uh, the shelf they put on your chest and the ECG the sticker thing. Then uh, they hold you up and you can wear your shoe. Then uh, uh, you can train back. Uh, you, uh, so just an add on. Before the MRI scanning, they will uh, take height and weight as usual. Yeah, sometimes you go for a doctor appointment, they will take your height and weight. So uh, the same goes to the MRI scanning. You take your height and weight. Uh, uh, the height and weight is without your shoe, so it's uh, very accurate. The, the electronic those kinds more accurate than the the meter one yeah so yeah and after the after the MRI you can uh, turn back to your clothes and they might ask if you are first time they might ask you some question and things like that if you are first time having the MRI scan then uh, the next time you MRI they, they won't ask you anymore for, for for my first time they do ask me some question on the how you things like that uh, just the normal question and the uh, uh, your medical history, medical history, yeah, and things like that. Then uh, you can train back to your clothes, and the uh, the hospital, the clothes they just throw into the the basket. Then they have, some, I think they have one basket for you to throw. Yeah, basically, it, uh, different hospital have different uh, different the uh, MRI room the the outfit to wear. Yeah, some is uh. You need to put your left hand in, then put your right hand, in, then fold again, kind of like three column thing. Then some is just a uh, wear on like a shirt. Yeah, different kind of uh, groom you have in different country and different hospital. So uh, after that, after you are uh, chain, I think then uh, that's the main part. Uh, 
return the key or or to the staff the new staff or the key you just put back into the locker the number itself on the locker and the number card with the key and uh, the same number of the locker just put it back just uh, put it back and uh, they ask you to make payment you have to give you a, a invoice or like a bill like that a receipt then uh, you just wait for your turn you just put uh, your uh, the, the paper to the to their trade and they, they will call your name to make a payment so by the time you have any have a remote fund just show them uh, if, uh, if you need any subsidize uh, can because some country uh, they do subsidize um, uh, for telecimian society Singapore I heard uh, they subsidize half the half the MRI bill you can uh, you can claim back like half of it yeah not fully uh, not fully paid but you can uh, um, uh, claim for half so it's for one year it's pretty worth it so I don't know how much the MRI I think 300 plus or so last time it's uh, the general hospital the central hospital but now they KK have so I just do it at my KK because all my blood tests, doctor appointment, uh, scanning, heart scanning, everything is thyroid doctor, all is in the, the pharmacy, all I uh, take at KK, so MRI also at KK now for I think at least two years already, so yeah, that's the whole procedure of it and after the payment, uh, basically you don't need to book your next appointment because it's one year, so the doctor will help you to make arrangement when the, it's time for your next uh, MRI if you are still seeing the doctor the same doctor before the year yeah that you basically can go by the so if you've got something on uh, after the MRI maybe you need uh, you, uh, your cross match is on the same day then you save the trip you can go for your cross match itself full back count and cross match then if not you, you need to take some maybe you take, need to take some uh, vitamins or medication or supplement from the pharmacy you can take there the same place itself then if not uh, you can uh, you can go back already the whole procedure takes about uh, let's say uh, plus the waiting um, most likely about an uh, hour to an hour and a half yeah for the whole procedure so yeah that's basically on this uh, MRI scanning walkthrough video hopefully the that covers return the procedure itself and yep thanks for watching and I uh, just earlier today just uh, finished my transfusion three units yeah I just came back about an hour ago yeah so uh, I go for every four four weeks now this time my HP is not very high it's like seven or seven or something yeah I got uh, more activities I go holiday in Malaysia and they said that. So yep, that's basically it. Uh, I try to make I come three week plus next week. Uh, yep. Three week and two days to be exact. Yeah, it's on Friday. Yeah, so I uh, need to build up to like eight at least eight point five or nine my HP. So yep, that's basically it. Hopefully you enjoy that and I'll see you guys later. Peace.